It's five minutes past ten. This is Central. It's time for the news from ITN. From ITN, News at Ten, with Trevor MacDonald. Terrorism rocks middle America. At least 19 die in Oklahoma. Another Japanese city is hit by a poison gas attack. Tributes for young constable killed in the line of duty. And how a British gorilla is beating the Japanese at their own game. Good evening. The Japanese computer games giant Nintendo paid millions today for a 25% stake in a Warwickshire firm called Rare. It also paid the compliment of calling it the Steven Spielberg of video games. Rare, which will take on about 170 new staff, invented the world's fastest selling video game. ITN's Hal Jones reports. Donkey Kong, king of the video jungle, beating the Japanese at their own game. It's one of the best games I've played. Because um, the graphics are awesome. Man. Yeah, it's better than all the other games I've played on. Kong was made in Britain and makes money, 300 million pounds so far. Nintendo have bought a share of Kong's British designers, the first time they've invested in software talent outside Japan. In a Warwickshire village is the old farmhouse where the new millionaires of video games are based, the headquarters of Rare Limited. Nintendo is buying British expertise, money for computer modelling on an industrial scale. Britain is, is uh, a world leader in this industry. I think we just need to try and maintain that. It's a simple investment. Nintendo is putting more money in to move more product on the shelves. Nintendo want more. They also know if they don't buy Rare, there is all these predators taking part in this very bullish uh, butch market just now where each big company, Time Warner, Sony, Sega, Nintendo, Virgin, want, they want bigger and better toys. And prospects for investment in this sector of the toy market seem to be improving in leaps and bounds. 